So me and Chief here just went out on a run. It's a beautiful day today. That cool, brisk weather is starting to come in, starting to feel that fall. I live in South Alabama, so the weather here is a little bit crazy. It'll get hot, it'll get cold, and it'll kind of go back and forth. So hopefully here within the next month, we'll hit a sticking point where it stays cool because I love the cool weather. I can't stand the heat. I can't stand the South Alabama weather down here. So. What you looking for, buddy? Did you find something over there? Chief. What is it? So what I wanted to talk to you guys today about is something that will help you when you're feeling that dry, crispy ends of your hair. Maybe you wake up in the morning and your hair just feels like, almost like a bale of wadded hay or before you go to bed at night, you've gone through the day and your hair's dried out and the ends of them are just frizzy and dry. And maybe you have an issue with keeping your hair hydrated. That's one of the issues that I have is keeping the moisture in the ends of my hair. So today we're gonna talk about a few natural things that you can add to your hair to help maintain the moisture. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. Say bye chief, say bye, say bye chief. So we're back into the Jedi Temple now. Let's go ahead and hash this thing out. Before I go any further though, I do wanna say hello to you guys who are here for the first time. On this channel, I promote healthy hair growth through using the most natural ingredients possible. There's so many places out there and videos you can watch on things to buy and products and things that are money driven. But the fact of the matter is you don't need to spend a ton of money to take care of your hair. In fact, the truth is, if you stay natural and minimalistic, your hair will be the better for it in the long run. Spending money on bad products will actually give you the opposite effect of what you really want to achieve. So go ahead and take a look at some of my other videos to get some good tips on that. But without further ado, let's do this thing. Okay, now on to what you guys came here for. How do I keep my hair hydrated? Before I jump into the solution to the problem, let me take a couple steps back and explain something to you first. I don't think there's anybody out there who better understands dry and frizzy hair more than I do. My hair tries its best to dry out, so it's a daily struggle for me to keep it hydrated. So one of the things that many people do is they don't realize that the daily grooming practices of styling your hair, of brushing your hair, of washing your hair, all of these things can lead to having a dry, frizzy look and actually damaging your hair. So to understand exactly why this happens, you're gonna to need to understand a little bit more about your hair's structure. So your hair is actually made up of three different layers, the medulla, the cortex, and the cuticle. The medulla is the soft, central most part of your hair shaft. Thick hair contains large amounts of medulla, while fine hair has almost none. The cortex, this is the thickest layer of your hair. It contains lots of fibrous proteins and the pigment that gives you your hair color. And the cuticle is the tough, protective outer layer of your hair. Washing, styling, coloring your hair, using heat products, these things can damage the cuticle, the outermost part of your hair, which in turn will keep it from protecting the innermost parts of your hair. So what you'd be doing is you would be losing those fibrous proteins that make up your cortex. This is the thickest part of your hair. Losing those proteins would make it thinner, which would lead to more damage, and then this would lead to more breakage. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about the solution to the problem. Ethan, your hair is amazing. Yeah, it kind of glows. Well, I think you missed it, Mrs. McGee. You use conditioner. No, but I'll fill you in. You know how on the shampoo bottle has directions, right? Lather, rinse, repeat? Yeah. I don't repeat. He doesn't repeat? Interesting. Mm. And yet it still gets clean. They only put repeat on the bottle so that you buy more shampoo. Oh. Wow. 
tricky. One of the biggest things that I want you guys to tap into in your hair growth journey is coconut oil. Guys, coconut oil is often said to be the best oil to use to reduce protein loss and to keep your hair looking healthy. There's a ton of different oils out there, and I did another video that I'll put right here where I used jojoba oil and almond oil and an essential oil in my hair and in my beard. So that would be a good alternative to go back and look to. But for today, I wanna to focus on coconut. So I got a little homework for you. Next time you go to the store and you go to the shampoo aisle, I want you to take a look at the products and I want you to see what the main ingredient is in them. Obviously, I'm talking about the more natural products. I'll go ahead and tell you what you're gonna find. You're gonna find coconut oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, olive oil. So many different natural oils are going to be the key ingredient in these products. So what I would submit to you is why are you going to spend a bunch of money on products that have a key ingredient in it when all you need to do is bypass all the other junk that's on the label and go straight to the source which is going to be the oil. That's the main thing that your hair needs is the oil. I just ran out. So let's go ahead and talk about coconut oil and why it's so good for your hair in the first place. Alright, so coconut oil is predominantly made of a fatty acid called lauric acid. This is what makes it more easily absorbed deep into your hair shaft. Now many oils can coat the hair, but they aren't as easily absorbed into the hair shaft as coconut oil is. Coconut oil is also great to use before and after your shower. And the reason for that is because it's going to prevent friction. Your hair is most vulnerable when it's wet. So when you get a shower and when you're rubbing your fingers through your hair, when you're drying your hair, when you're brushing your hair, you're actually damaging your hair more because it's being weakened by the water. This is something I'm going to touch on in another video about damaging your hair and how to prevent that. So applying it before and after your shower is going to help it from being damaged. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. I would suggest to you just to try it, see how it works for your hair, and then go from there. All right, so so far we understand that coconut oil absorbs and penetrates the hair. It's gonna prevent damage from friction. Now let's jump into some ways that it's gonna help your hair grow. Coconut oil could help your hair grow healthier and longer by three different ways. Moisturizing your hair and reducing breakage, protecting your hair from protein loss and damage from being wet, protecting your hair from environmental damage like wind, sun, and smoke. But to get the most out of coconut oil, you need to make it a daily part of your hair regimen. So to summarize all of this, coconut oil can help reduce damage from day-to-day -day wear and tear. It's also gonna help retain your moisture and keeping your hair less dry. All of this together is gonna make your hair grow longer and healthier in the long run. And guys, for $5, considering the container you get, you can't beat it. All you need is a few simple ingredients. These will last you a long time. If used on a day-to-day -day basis in your regimen, you're gonna see amazing results. Oh, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, well, listen, I'll pick you up at three, huh? Yeah. All right, my Padawans, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more content and tips for more healthy hair growth. And if you would do me the favor of supporting my channel by liking and subscribing, hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post a new video. And also, don't forget to comment below. As always, guys, may the force be with you, and we'll see you in the next video. For another cheap and easy solution for your hair hydration, buy an aloe vera plant, break off one of the stems, apply it to your fingertips, and apply this to the ends of your hair. This plant will continue to reproduce and you can use it periodically. Here are some examples of the oils that you'll hear me talk about. We have coconut oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, and three different essential oils that I chose for today. I have tea tree, wintergreen, and peppermint. These oil ratios can all be mixed and combined however you would like. For this example, I'm just going to use coconut oil. In addition to this, I'm going to add two different oils. I'm going to use tea tree and peppermint. It's not an exact science. You can add as many drops as you would like, but these essential oils are very potent, so obviously you don't want it to overpower you. So right before my shower here, I take my hair down. This is what my hair looks like being up all day at work with a headband and being up in a bun.
So I'm just taking the oil mixture we made and gently applying it to the ends of my hair. I'm not pulling, I'm not tugging, I'm not doing any quick motions. I'm just easily squeezing it in all throughout the bottoms of my hair. This clip here has been sped up, so it looks like I'm moving faster, but I'm actually moving a lot slower. <laughs> Thank you.